Hi, it's Tim at Slide Dynamic, and uh, this is the instruction video of how to install this Slide Dynamic PowerPoint add in specifically for PowerPoint 2013. So, if you're installing it under 2007 or PowerPoint 2010, you don't need to follow these additional steps. If you're an existing customer, new customer, or using the trial version, then for 2013 PowerPoint, you will need to uh, follow these two incremental steps. Um, so, assuming that you obviously have PowerPoint 2013 installed, you download the uh, Slide Dynamic PowerPoint add-in installation file. You run that and it will install the add-in and it will open PowerPoint. And on the ribbons menu here at the top, you'll see a new tab, which is Slide Dynamic. And if you click on that, you'll see all the available functions. All of them are available and you can see them, but none of them will actually work until you perform the following two steps. So the first step is go to the file menu item, click on that, it opens up the options panel. If you go down to the options tab, click that, and you will see on the left hand side of the options you have Trust Center. If you click that, and on the right hand side you'll see a button that comes up saying Trust Center Settings, if you click that. You will then see under Developer Macro Settings this option which is uh, currently not enabled so you need to enable that by clicking on it. So in the, our previous version 2007-2010 we could uh, access that during the installation process but we can't in the new version so you need to manually enable that and if you don't then the add-in will not work so that's the first thing uh, so once that's done you just click OK and click OK again and then you can close PowerPoint 2013 for a moment and the second thing you need to do um, and I will leave a, a bit of a description in the forum post about this um, in Microsoft Office 2013 specifically to PowerPoint Microsoft decided to disable one of the objects that we use basically um, in the add-in that performs a number of different functions and um, due to security risks in Microsoft's view they've disabled it um, without the option for a user to enable it but on the if you go and Google and I'll give you the links for this they do actually go through the process to enable it although it requires changing a registry entry so if you're unsure about this the best thing to do is not do it, not install it. Um, if you do want to do it, then you can follow the description in the link or you can manually edit the specific registry entry. Now to hopefully make it a little easier, and again it's your choice if you install it, I've actually just um, provided a registry key that if you run it as an administrator on your computer it will update the correct registry entry for you and then the add-in will work but as I say that's your choice um, if you want to see which registry entry it's updating you just click on uh, this file and you can download this from the uh, from the forum and you just go edit and then you will see the registry entry that we're updating to make the add-in work and it uh, references the web browser object in PowerPoint's object model. Anyway, so all you need to do is as an administrator you just need to run that and basically it will just add that registry uh, key or change it I should say. Click yes and then that's basically been added and then if you run PowerPoint again all the functions will work. So just to prove that point. So there we are. So that's just the menu item. So if you're installing Prezi and what have you or installing PDFs or web pages or anything else then uh, then the add-in will work on PowerPoint 2013. If you have any questions please let me know. Leave them in the forum, contact us, what have you. Anyway, thanks very much.